What's up, family? All right, so the word is that North Korea is now threatening China. Big brother China, I might add. It goes like this, y'all. North Korea is sending a message to China as well as the U.S. and Japan with its latest round of failed missile launches, the top house Republican on military issues said Sunday. The message was, we are strong and we can hurt you. That's what the message was from North Korea. That's what they are trying to send, especially to us, but also Japan and South Korea. Armed Services Committee Chairman Matt Thornberry said on Sunday. Maybe they're trying to send a message to China as well, that they are not as dependent on China as some of us think, Thornberry added. His comments come after North Korea conducted a failed missile launch Sunday. Thornberry said it is unclear how close North Korea is to developing a missile that could reach the U.S. We know they have nuclear weapons because they have conducted nuclear tests, he said. The question is, how close are they to an intercontinental ballistic missile that can reach our homeland? The short answer is, we don't know. I have no doubt they are driving toward that, and every test, failure, or success helps them, he added. To protect against the growing threat from North Korea, Thornberry said the U.S. must increase its missile defense in the region. We can knock down missiles, but we need to step up on our accelerator to do more missile defense, he said. This is the time to step on the gas because it's not just North Korea, he added. It's also Iranians as well as others who are bush pushing for missiles. We need to be able to knock those down. All right, y'all, so first of all, let me throw this disclaimer out there. This is a dude who was talking to Fox News. So you know how that go. But if y'all can recall, the U.S. military backed Trump because Trump said that he was not going to be a warmonger. Trump said the U.S. is not going to be the world's police. Remember when he said that on the campaign trail? The U.S. is not going to be the world's police. Now, once he got in office, and this is a trend, y'all. So many lies, so many, so much going back on his word. When he got in office, he said, well, you know what? The U.S. is not going to be the world's police. He doubled down and said, U.S. is going to be the world's judge, jury, and executioner. We're not just going to be the police. We're going to be the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Kind of like law enforcement is today, y'all. You know, see how they just go around killing people? They don't wait. They don't arrest people anymore. Uh, they, just, they just gun you down right there on the spot. Judge, jury, executioner. So not surprising that that is going on when you have a president who shares the same ideology. Okay, so let me tell you something. China, I would not trust. I mean, I wouldn't trust nobody. I don't trust the U.S. Hell, I live here. I don't trust them. But I damn sure would not trust China because China uses North Korea as a provocateur. China knows exactly what's going on in North Korea at all times. North Korea is one of China's closest allies, if not their closest ally. And they use North Korea to instigate and to piss off the U.S. from time to time. And a lot of what's going on in China, with when it, whether they, they're building these whatever kind of missiles or nuclear bombs or whatever they're building, you better believe China got their hand in it some kind of way. Believe that, man. Uh, I just believe that China has to know what's going on to uh, 
in China, they have they have to know. Who who is that said? One of them rappers said, "You're too near me not to hit me." You know, China is too damn near North Korea to not know what's going on in North Korea. So I think they use North Korea as a bargaining chip, and they say, "Okay, like so, North Korea." Y'all go out there. Whatever they don't like about the U.S. or they got a problem with the U.S., they use China to instigate. I mean, they use North Korea to instigate. So North Korea go out there and, oh, we're going to bomb something. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And Big Brother be sitting back like, hmm. get them. And then when it looked like the U.S. might come down and probably do something, that's when China rises up. You better get your ass back over there. You better not come over here fucking with North Korea. You know what we can do. And then the U.S. go, settle back down, boy. Settle back down, big boy. You don't want this big boy. Settle back down. Y'all know the game, man. Y'all know how it go. The U.S., the only reason why they ain't went over to North Korea even 20 years ago trying to bomb, push people around, because they know if they go over there messing with North Korea, China going to get in that ass. And you think it's with some, you think it's been some debts over the years. Man, you talking about if the U.S. and China go at it? <laughs> Man, God help us all, dude. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Bet not even try to, bet not even try to, you know, have kids, you better not try to have grandkids, none of that, that's a wrap. Don't even think about what you're gonna do with your grandkids later on when you have kids and all, you can forget all of that. Cause it'll be more casualties than all wars combined, not just World War I and World War II, but you can throw in, throw in the French Revolution, the, 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 the American uh, uh, Civil War, you mean you can throw in everything. You can throw in the Alamo, everything you can throw in, you can throw in everything. It'd be the war of all wars. And neither country want that. Neither country really, really want that. But China, the whole while, America is focused on what North Korea is doing. China over there building their arsenal. And they're constantly taking over territory. And China is not going to let America go over to North Korea and do nothing. They not finna fuck with North Korea. Believe that. I can guarantee you that. But another thing is this, man. You know, we keep hearing all these things about what well, China this, China said this, China said that. Uh, Kim Jong Young, that's the leader. Kim Jong Young said this. Kim Jong Young said that. Why we ain't watching this dude's lip move when all of this is being said? They dropped another bomb. I mean, they tested another missile. Where are the evidence for these failed missile testings? We ain't seeing nothing. All we getting are reports. So this got me to wondering, because I be thinking sometimes, you know, the, the global elitist propaganda machine seems to be at work again here. It seems to be at work. It's like, y'all remember when the global elitist machine went to work, the propaganda machine went to work on Iraq, right? Went out there and fought an unjust war. People were getting their heads chopped off. Y'all remember that? And y'all remember how gung-ho Americans were? The way Americans sound, many Americans sound today, was the way they sounded back then when before that war first kicked off. They were very gung-ho. Yeah, let's go get them. Kick their ass. You know, just knock them off the map. Oh, they're so small. We can easily knock them off the map. It's nothing. Let's go get them. They were gung-ho, ready to go, 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 go. Let's go get them, Earl. Then those goddamn insurgents and those Al-Qaeda start chopping off necks, chopping off those heads, and holding them up on video for the world to see. And then you start seeing soldiers all over the country. Soldiers all in Iraq, especially the ones that were in Iraq on the ground. 
They were making videos, crying to come home, begging to come home. Because, hey man, that's how, that's the most effective way to deal with bullies. You can't lay down on bullies. You got to fight back. And bullies, you know, let's, let's, let's say what it is, man. Man, we, America's some bullies. America is a big old bully. And when somebody fight back, any kind of resistance, man, bullies don't like resistance. Bullies, it's bullies see any kind of real, real resistance. They're going to shut the bully down. They're going to shut the, they're going to cut the bully machine off and, and go over here and bully somebody else. They, trust me, it, it's always worked. Even since anybody know there's ever been bullied from elementary school on, from pre-K on, on, from pre-K on. Anytime you've ever been bullied, the only way you stop a bully is to stand up to him and crack him across the head, give him to taste his own medicine. That's the only time they listen because they don't have no understanding. So I don't believe all of this stuff. I think most of it is propaganda, especially if it's coming from Fox News. I think it's all propaganda. The people at Fox News ain't finna go fight nothing. They ain't finna kill nothing. All they're going to do is stir the pot and get your children killed. That's all they're going to do. Donald Trump ain't finna kill nothing. He going to send your kids out to do the killing. And then he going to get your kids killed. That's what, that's what he's going to do. So all you people that's all gung-ho, ready to go, ready to get it cracking, let's knock them off the map. You may want, may want to think twice about that. Because it ain't if we can send a bomb from here to North Korea, why they can't make one that goes from North Korea to reach the U.S.? I mean, it sounds pretty plausible to me, especially with all the spying going on, the spying and espionage, espionage going on. It sounds pretty pl plausible to me that it could happen. But some of y'all don't see that because you only see and you hear what you want to see and hear. Until it go down and it happened in your backyard, you're probably not going to get it. North Korea, I wouldn't take them dudes lightly. But like I say, I am suspicious of the report because it came from Fox News. So I'm suspicious of that. But as far as like this dude actually going through with something like, you know, shooting a nuke this way, I wouldn't put it past him. And neither should you. Never underestimate your enemy. Remember the Iraq war, y'all. Weapons of mass destruction. Remember that. Remember. Remember the Iraq war. The weapons of mass destruction. That entire war was staged. Never forget. No more talk.